A number of strong economic reports show the economy is getting a boost. Factories are producing more, shoppers are spending more, and business executives and consumers are more optimistic. But when it comes to housing, the struggles continue, even though foreclosures dropped in November to the lowest level in 18 months. Unfortunately, this decline in the rate of foreclosures is not something we should all get excited about. It's not really an indicator of recovery. In fact, it's actually a very predictable result of the foreclosure freezes that many of the mortgage lenders and mortgage servicers put in place after the robo-signing scandal broke a couple of months ago. A decline in home values is also a key stress point. It's something Nelson says is becoming more and more evident. We are seeing sellers start to feel a lot of the pressure. They're cutting prices at a record high rate. 27% of the listings on the market in America have now ha had their home price cut, their list price cut at least one time. Data firm CoreLogic says about 10.8 million households, more than 22% of all mortgage homes, were underwater in the July through September quarter. Couple that with declining home values and the foreclosure problem could get worse. If you would expect that as prices started to soften, you would see you know, more and more homeowners become underwater. What we're starting to see, though, is as more homes get more underwater, more homeowners become willing to walk away from their homes and just less willing to fight for them if their circumstances make it tough for them to make their mortgage payments. Clearly, the housing sector has a long way to go before it can be considered healthy. CoreLogic estimates that in a healthy market, just 5% of homeowners with a mortgage owe more than their homes are worth. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.